Hi, welcome back. It's Dr. Somji. And it's Dr. Solomon. Today we're going to be talking about a really trending topic: injectable moisturizers, otherwise known as skin boosters. Absolutely. So this is a new age of things. More designed for people that don't want dermal fillers, they don't want that puffy look, or they may not even be ready for it. And I find this really increasing in my practice now, these kind of skin booster treatments. And there's quite a few out there now, and we're gonna go through them, look at the pros and cons, and you might be able to decide which one is right for you as well. Yeah. Okay, so we have in front of us a range of skin boosters. Um, essentially, most of them are uh, there to sort of promote moisturizing of the skin, plumping of the skin, hydration of the skin but they do vary according to their constituents, according to what's in them. So Absolutely. let's go through all of them. But before that, let's talk about exactly what skin boosters are. Exactly. So skin boosters are something that you can be injected in the skin. It can be hyaluronic acid based, or it can be a product that promotes collagen as well. Yeah. So hyaluronic acid, obviously in its entirety, will, will not only add maybe a subtle volume to the area, if it's cross-linked, yeah? as a molecule, but it can also attract water and therefore hydration. So increasing skin hydration, yeah. making the skin a little bit more softer, supple, and reducing those fine lines. So we have skin boosters that have hyaluronic acid, and hyaluronic acid is, in, is included in dermal fillers or hyaluronic acid fillers. Yeah. But why are they different? What? Well, I think, look, let's take the first one. The, probably the most famous that's out there, it's Profilo, okay? And it's licensed in the UK. Interestingly, it's not available in the US. Mm. Um, and that's the reason why we get a lot of pictures from the US yeah. uh, coming for Profilo. So it's really, it's, it's one of the most popular, you know? And this is an uncross-linked hyaluronic acid. That basically means that it kind of just spreads like honey just through the dermis, so the lower layers of the skin, and it hydrates everything. So, you know, you've got four or five different points on the face and it spreads nicely. Doesn't add any volume, just improves these elasticity, hydration, and very superficial plumbing. So almost like a little spaghetti chain that goes under the, the skin. And you just love that spaghetti. Bind. I do like spaghetti. I hear analogy. you talking to patients about that actually. Binding water along the way and then yeah. holding that water, but not actually projecting the skin. So not adding volume. Exactly. Like so this is typically, this is the injectable moisturizer that people talk about. Yeah. You have like two treatments, four weeks apart. Then sometimes for people that are a little bit more dehydrated, they have another treatment six weeks later, and then you maintain that every six months. But they do more. They do more. Yeah. Um, so now they do one for the body, which yeah. is actually really cool because this is in, available in like a two mil uh, syringe, but sometimes people want to have any you know, kind of hydration in the decolletage area, around the elbows, around the knees, um, even in kind of like the, the arms over here as well. So Profilo body in a larger syringe is really useful and that's just recently been launched as yeah. well. And we've put all the skin boosters here because not only do they attract water, but they do also stimulate collagen and they stimulate collagen in a sort of varying, increasingly yeah. um, potent degree. So exactly. let's talk about what we have on the sort of yeah, upper so like, range of the scale. If you look at Profilo, what it doesn't do is fill lines. It doesn't lift the face um, and it doesn't volumize. So, that is a very subtle treatment. It's like having a facial. As you guys know from previous videos, my mum was one of the first people in the UK to have Profilo, and that's what she told me. She said it's like having a facial that lasts. Um, if you want to fill fine lines, then this product, which is actually probably the, the one that's been out for probably the longest in terms of skin boosters, is a Restylane Skin Booster. Oh my God, that's exactly what it's called. What it says on the okay. box, yeah. It says it on the box. I love this product. Okay, look, I have an affiliation with the company that um, uh, make it. I train for them. I train other doctors how to use this product. But the only reason why I train them is because I believe in it. And you used it before that. Exactly, and this is a cross-link product. Yeah. It's made with the Nasha technology that um, Restylane have. So it's actually designed to be injected in the lower portion of the skin to directly fill in lines. And if you want to know where you can, where you, oops, sorry. <laughs> If you want to know though. where you want to use this, you can use this in, for example, if a lady wears makeup over here and they still get the crease with makeup, that's the perfect depth where you want to put this. So this is like a very soft filler. It does volumize a little bit, but not give you that sort of puffy look. So it can be injected for fine lines and then you can inject it a little bit deeper for hydration in almost like a mesotherapy fashion as well. Yeah. And then on the sort of upper range of the scale in terms of 
stimulating collagen in terms of actually starting to build volume indirectly, we have two other products. Exactly. So look, let's talk about the oldest product in history. And again, look, disclaimer, IK, I speak for Sculptra kind of worldwide. But the only reason why I love this product is that I've seen over the years that nowadays I'm starting to inject patients with this first off rather than fillers. It's gone the other way mm. because what Sculptra is, it's made of something called PLLA, so poly L lactic acid. This sits in the skin and it promotes both type 1 and type 2 collagen. It's made of the same material that surgical sutures are made of, so the dissolvable stitches that you have when you have surgery. It promotes volume if you inject deeper in the fat, so if you want to restore the volume in, the, in areas, particularly like the temple region, to help lift the brow, for instance, as well as this sub-cheek area as well. But injected in the skin at the lower levels, it promotes collagen and skin tightness. So it's like an injectable thing that will actually do nearly everything. And it lasts really long, so you're seeing results for even up to two years after the treatment. So if I get a patient in and they're like 40, I say you need about four vials of Sculptra because it's one per decade and that gets you up to a level really nicely. And then you can finish with things like Profilo, maybe a little bit of dermal filler in the lips or underneath the eyes, for instance, because those are like areas that you can't inject Sculptra. But this is something that's an investment in the face. And if injected by an expert injector, um, you can get nice, safe, reliable results over time. You this will, get... will prevent you having puffy face syndrome. Yeah. yeah, so we've talked about like possible treatments that maybe Courtney Cox has had. If she went down the Sculptra route, she would not have had this sort of puffy look because you don't get it with this because it doesn't attract water. Yeah. So you have a, a skin booster range and you have the skin, boost, a skin booster range that just draws water in and you have a skin booster range that will stimulate collagen. There are many types of collagen which we'll talk about yeah. in um, other videos, um, but this tends to stimulate the type of more stable collagen that brings in volume. It stimulates You're volume. You're basically producing yourself. Yeah. So look, you have and we'll show you these slides, like histological slides, looking at Sculptra when it's first injected, and then looking at that same slide like two, two years later. You don't see the product. Yeah. It's now organized collagen, which is yeah. fantastic. This is regenerative medicine, which is and what we all should be doing. Dean, yeah, and what we like to do as well is combine it with other collagen stimulating, non-injectable collagen stimulators, such as the energy devices that we use, the radio frequency devices, the lasers, so you can get the sort of added benefit of collagen stimulation from that and the injectable collagen stimulators. And of course, you know, as a foundational um, basis for skincare using topicals. So, yeah, the, the key, approach. absolutely, a laid approach. And uh, to get the best results, you do have to combine therapies. And of course, you've just lifted uh, another one, uh, which is a fairly new treatment. Fairly new. I mean, I've only been really been injecting this for like the last year or so. Um, this is not a filler. This is not made of hyaluronic acid, and this is not made of PLLA. <laughs> Yeah. So what so is it? This is made of something called nucleotides. And as you know, nucleus is what your DNA is made up of. Yeah. So um, obviously this is not animal in origin, but this is something that um, stimulates the actual cell that produce collagen. So fibroblasts that sit in our skin at the lower levels, they produce the collagen within the cells. This sends signals to the fibroblasts to produce type 1 collagen. And in that way, actually, um, it's it doesn't it doesn't stay in the skin and it just promotes your own collagen which is fantastic yeah. and it can be injected underneath the eyes to tighten and lift this area and it can be injected in any areas of the face in a similar fashion to Profilo but here's where it's actually here's a caveat which I'm really excited about it lasts longer than Profilo and that's one of the criticisms that we have with Profilo it doesn't it last, last long, long enough and that's because of the hyaluronic acid two treatments of time in somebody that's just new to anything this will last a year yeah. Um, and that's fantastic. Okay. So in summary, we have a range of skin boosters or injectable moisturizers with differing uh, active ingredients in them, um, all of which to a certain extent stimulate collagen, all of which plump up the skin and draw in some water to the skin and um, some of which last longer than the others. Absolutely. So let's look at it and how would you use all of them, right? Okay. So if you had like overall volume loss, and you had hollowness in the temples, hollowness in this area, and you want to improve the skin texture all around, you may start with something Sculptra. like Sculptra. If 
you had little fine lines that you needed to fill that you didn't really like. Let's say before an event. Before or... an event and little fine lines that you just can't get rid of and sculpture is not gonna really fill lines, yeah. then you would use skin boosters in that area. If you wanted an overall glow and you're really like kind of, now the sculpture's set in, you're gonna layer it with some Profilo. All of these products cannot be injected underneath the eye apart from this. So you've got Nucleophil Soft that be injected underneath the eyes. Yeah. And if you're really kind of happy with the results of Profilo and you want that to last a little bit longer, you can have a nice tailored treatment with Nucleophil. So it's possible to use all of these treatments. Over a period of time. Over a period of time, you're talking like even three, four years. And, you, and look, you haven't even injected fillers and you still look good, you don't look puffy, and you don't look unnatural. And importantly, you get unique benefits from each of them. Absolutely. Yeah. So that's it on Skin Boosters. If it's new to you, and I'm imagining it is, then loads of questions are gonna be firing in on our comments. If you want any other specific videos about these uh, treatments, then, then just let us know. Don't forget to hit like and also subscribe because we're always uploading new content. We've also got immediate content on our Instagram channels as well that you can follow too. Take care. Take care, see you soon.